What's up everybody, my name is Jeremy Jones and I am back with another video. Today, we're talking to Converse Fragment Weapon. So stay tuned. Hoping one day I'ma get it all right. Brother is engaged, but to start a new life. Yeah, I haven't had a chill day. Really wanna vibe, appreciate the moments. I've been creating, not scrolling. Mom and dad still support it. Alright, man, I'm back with another video, man. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I made content about sneakers. Alright, so let's dive into today's video. Just like I said in the intro, man, we're talking to Converse and Fragment Weapon. All right, man, we're gonna be keeping things very simple over here today. We're gonna be answering the basic old question. Are they drip or skip? But let's just keep it there. All right, so first things first, these are set to release May 11, to the best of my knowledge, coming in at a retail price of, let me double check this real quick, coming in at a retail price of $140, right, okay. And of course, you know the kid glanced at the resale price and right now looks like they're averaging $190 and up depending on the size, right, okay. Sorry for that, but with all that being said, man, I did, I was hesitating on really doing a topic on this uh, shoe in general now. Again, this is kind of one of the shoes from what I'm hearing, not this particular colorway, but you've seen it floating around in the movie Air. Pretty much that's what they were kind of rocking back in the day. That was kind of like, Converse used to be that shoe back in the day, right? Okay, now Converse is owned by Nike, but at one point, all the basketball players wanted to deal with Converse. Now, when you think of Converse, you can't help but think of Larry Bird, and you gotta think of Magic Johnson, right, okay? Not saying they made it popular, but those were the shoes that we seen on the court, they were playing in the weapons, and now they gotta collab with Fragment. Now, when you see Fragment, you can't help but think of that blue colorway, right, okay? We're gonna keep it 100. Not even just that blue colorway that they always put on the shoes, but their logo that's on the back of the heel of the shoe, obviously, you know, it looks like that, like, lightning bolt, and if I'm wrong, feel free to correct me down in the comment section but that's the logo that we see when it's like associated with fragment now we can just keep it 100 we've seen some fragment collabs not hit and i feel like this one will hit but it's not gonna hit with the overall sneaker community right okay if i'm gonna keep it 100 mainly because it doesn't have like a jordan attached to it and i know well Technically it does because now Nike owns Converse and that's where Jordan sits as well, but this is not it, right? Okay, not a bad shoe. That's not what I'm trying to say. I think it's pretty much a dope shoe, right? Okay, actually we seen these in the sold out Discord shameless plug again. People were posted early pics in these and they're saying pretty much from what I'm getting just from the general sneaker community, we're calling this the poor man version of the Travis Scott Jordan 1 fragments and I can see it. I'm not even gonna argue. I can see that all the way of why somebody would think of that, right, okay? Overall, I will say this. If you're a Converse person and you like Converse's, if you know, yeah, why not? I, I think this is a dope shoe overall. It's not gonna hit, and I know Nike knows it's not gonna hit at $140 and on the resale market at $190, which I'm assuming as we get closer to that release date, it's gonna drop right at the retail market. Now, Overall, I will say this, I don't see anything any particular sticking about this shoe, but again, I feel like Nike still likes to just go and visit the roots, and there's nothing wrong with that, because they still like to tater to like the OG, so to speak, and I told you guys, there's like, the, you know, the younger generation, I'm in the middle, because our generation kind of brought it up, and then we got the OGs that kind of like put us on, and we still kind of learn from them, so I feel like this is that OG sneaker, not calling you O or anything, because honestly, I told you guys, I'm about two or three years away from earning OG status. It's just something that just comes with over time, and really just paying homage and respect to the OGs, and I feel like that's what we gotta say about this sneaker. It's paying homage to the OG sneaker colorway, right? Okay, well, it's not sneaker colorway, but it's playing OG homage to like that actual shoe in general because the weapons were a thing. Now, we've seen them do other collabs with other people as well, but now we got one with Fragment, and I feel like I'm all here for it. Now, with all that being said, right, I wouldn't mind having it in the collection, but, but, you know, I'm still on the, I've been on the fence all week and I gotta give it to Nike. Y'all gotta, I know I keep saying this every video, but they're making you think now, man. I think uh, one of the things how the sneaker community is where everything is kind of like at a standstill and kind of just pause, it's at a point where it's making you think, do you really want this not buying off of the hype? Now, I feel like if you're into like retro style stuff or you got like vintage stuff, I get vintage vibes from this as well. 
This shoe has everything that say like, it has everything that it needs except for like a, like not saying fragment, how should I word this? It has everything that a dope collab should have, but like, uh, except like not a today's like, like we can say, I'll put it this way. If a Travis name was attached with this as well, say like a triple collab, cause we've seen that done before. If this would have been like Travis, Converse and Fragment, we would have been going crazy. Let's just keep it a hundred. Let's just keep it a hundred. But it doesn't feature Travis name. It just has the Fragment name and it has pretty much Converse name. And at the end of the day, again, we're gonna look at it cause we definitely see what they're aiming for and what they achieved. And I think they did a good job. But overall, I think as a master of the sneak community, like no. And I'm not a hype beast by any means necessary. I know some people like to put me in that category, but I'm not. I literally just buy what I like. And Dunks knows me. When I'm 10 toes down about something, whether I like it or hate it, I stick to it. Now, there also is a great area where it has been some, when I've seen it release, I'm like, you know what, never mind. I'm actually chasing a shoe that that happened to right now. Fun fact, but neither here nor there, when it comes to these Converse and Fragment joints for the kid, they will be a skip. But I wanna know what you guys think down in the comment section and will you be going after these on May 11th, retailing at $140. And of course, let me know if you think they're drip or skip. All right, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of this thing and stop rambling, man. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I made content about sneakers. Again, my name is Jeremy Jones, and thank you for watching, and I'm out.